You are looking at a gloomy picture from our Virginia Tech sky cam. Unfortunately, not much is going to change here over the next 48 hours. We're going to be socked in with clouds. We're going to be socked in with rain. It's going to be breezy out there for about the next 12 to 18 hours, and I think those winds will actually settle down for us here as we head into tomorrow. Let's head on over and show you that a flood watch is indeed in effect until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for Floyd, Carroll, Grayson and Patrick County. So look at the radar showing that we do indeed have rain falling across many of our backyards, perhaps not all, but many of our backyards. First stop will take us into Wythe County, areas around Withville South into Elk Creek, Speedwell, even into areas near Independence, out to the east into Galax, Hillsville, seeing some rather heavy rain at this point. Heading farther to the north, the heaviest rain cells actually uh, in West Virginia. There's the uh, West Virginia, Virginia border, but Covington certainly seeing some pretty moderate to heavy rain at this point. Farther south, it's raining uh, fairly heavily in and around Natural Bridge as well. All this, by the way, is moving northeast at around about 30 miles per hour. Future tracker showing that overnight tonight we are going to be wet as we head into Tuesday in the morning. It is going to be very wet. I think everybody's going to be wet as you head out the door tomorrow morning to school or to work. Even by the lunch hour, it's going to be raining pretty heavily. Even as we head into the dinner hour, it might be a few breaks in the rain. I do think that the rain's going to be a little bit heavier tomorrow morning than it will be in the afternoon, but still the rain is likely Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening with some heavier rain again pushing in towards the New River Valley soon as uh, after the sun goes down tomorrow. As far as how much rain we get here locally with this entire system all the way through Wednesday, we're looking at around one to three inches of rain. Few folks may actually see a little bit more than that. Few folks may get up to perhaps four inches of rain, and that is why we're a little bit concerned with the possibility for some flooding. And obviously we're going to be watching those creeks, streams and rivers as well. Winds right now, not a huge factor. We have an easterly wind at 10 in Hot Springs, a uh, northeasterly wind at 14 in Withville. Then you had farther east and the winds are between around three and about eight miles per hour. The winds, however, tonight may strengthen a little bit. OK, what we're looking at tonight are wind gusts in excess of 30 miles per hour with sustained winds anywhere between around 10 and 20 miles per hour. So again, tonight those winds will be on the increase and then those winds will likely be on the decrease by tomorrow afternoon. Air temperatures. Pretty cool, as you would expect, because we haven't really seen much sunshine today. It is 50 in Hot Springs, 51 in Withville, a little warmer towards South Boston at 66. It's 57 right now in Martinsville. Your forecast for tonight, we're looking at uh, rain likely. We're looking at overnight lows tonight, mainly in the 40s to near 50. And then for the day tomorrow, we are looking at uh, a rainy day. It's going to be a cool day. High temperatures in the lower 60s south side, mid to upper 40s in the highlands. We're in the 50s everywhere else. Extended forecast showing temperatures in the upper 60s on Wednesday with some leftover showers around, maybe even a stray storm towards south side. 68 though, so we're moving in the right direction in the temperature department on our hump day. 70 on Thursday, that is the pick day to be outside. Thursday looks beautiful by Friday. There's more scattered showers, even a few storms in the forecast with a few lingering showers on Saturday. Sunday and Monday, though, look very pretty right now.